In John chapter 3 verse 9, after Jesus has been trying to explain to Nicodemus what it means to be born again, Nick replies, how can these things be? And you get the impression that he's kind of stuck. That he doesn't seem to be able to move past this initial step of faith. Now, three verses later, Jesus confirms this by saying, if I've told you earthly things and you don't believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? And we understand now that there's far more that Jesus wants to lead Nicodemus into, far more that he wants for him to experience, but unless he takes the step that's in front of him, he can't get to the one after that. And that re makes me wonder about those times in my life when I feel like my faith journey has stalled out a bit. And I wonder if maybe the reason is that I am resisting taking the step in front of me, trying to get to the one after that without taking the one directly in front of me. The Bible says that our faith journey is line upon line, precept upon precept. You don't get to skip any of the steps. They're all important. Like I remember when Jesus was trying to teach me about tithing, the practice of giving 10% of my income to him. Yikes, that was like so beyond what I could grasp in faith. But he was sharing with me through his word that it would release me from the grip of materialism on my life and unleash his blessing, his material blessing in my life. Still, I struggled with it. And you know what? It kind of stalled my faith journey out until I took that step. And then there was one after that I could take and one after that and one after that. So if you feel today like maybe you're sort of stuck, Perhaps there's a step of faith you need to take. I don't know what that might be, but let's do it, shall we? Let's take that step, and then the one after that, and then the one after that, and the one after that.